Welcome to Noel. This is the S550.100, one of five Noel simulators that we've developed here at GOMART for you. This simulator consists of a full-size articulating mother, the fetus that delivers automatically down the birth canal, and a neonate that changes color with oxygenation. Now, Noel can be intubated, orally or nasally. You can do BVM and you get chest rise. You can do CPR. You can provide IV medication here or fluids. And you can do IM. And the fetus moves down the birth canal in accordance with one of four pre-programmed delivering speeds and you get a fetal heart rate, one of 10 fetal heart rates from 60 to 200 beats per minute. The cervix is removable. It dilates from about one and a half to two centimeters in diameter, all the way up to 10 centimeters as the baby progresses through it. The vulva is also removable and interchangeable. So if you want to do an episiotomy, you can and simply replace the vulva. Naturally, you can also do Leopold maneuvers so that you can determine whether the, the child is being delivered head down, head up, transverse lie, normal lie, any of the above. Now the delivery mechanism for Noel is here. 10 different fetal heart rates from 60 to a nice normal 140 to 200. Four different delivery speeds from about one or two minutes all the way up to 15 or 20 minutes. They have a pause resume feature and an on off. This is powered by a universal power supply giving you the ability to plug it into a wall 100 to 240 volts, 40 to 60 hertz. So you can use it anywhere around the world. Now, the neonate, you can intubate orally or nasally, do BVM as well, do CPR and pass an OMB, and it has the unique ability to change color with oxygenation. And what does that mean? Well, the initial condition can be set as either normal, peripheral cyanosis, or central cyanosis. The instructor also has the ability to be able to make the rate of improvement and deterioration whatever they need. Then the student takes over and does BVM. Now, if this were central cyanosis, you would see blueness here around the cheeks, blueness at the hands, blueness at the feet. If it progresses toward peripheral cyanosis, then the blueness around the mouth disappears. If the peripheral cyanosis resolves, then the blueness here at the hands and the feet disappear as a function of proper BVM. Now, with that overview, let's go back to Noel and see how the delivery is conducted. Now let's go about birthing the fetus. Beneath the tummy cover, we have the fetus placed in the ROA position. The fetus is removable, and the placenta can be placed either low in the abdomen mid-abdomen or high in the abdomen. You also have the ability to place this placenta in a, in a fashion that will allow it to be delivered rather easily and also you can place it in a way where you'll have to use considerable traction to remove the placenta. So let's get started and deliver the fetus. Now let's watch Noel birth the fetus. We've selected a heart rate of 140 and a rapid delivery speed and we will turn on the birthing device. At this point you can hear the, the delivery mechanism begin and by placing the stethoscope on Noel's tummy you can clearly hear the fetal heart rate. Notice that the delivery mechanism starts and stops, starts a second time and then stops before proceeding to delivery.
Notice that the delivery device can be paused at any particular point so that you can discuss any particular feature. You can point out, for example, the position of the head relative to the plane of the ischial spine. You can point out the dilating cervix and then resume delivery. At any particular point, you can change the fetal heart rate, set it at an ominous 60 beats per minute, and see what your students do in reaction to that. Or simply decide that you're going to continue with a normal delivery. At this point, you may want to pause and say, all right, notice the fontanelles. Do we have nose up or nose down delivery? And continue. Then at that point, you, at this point, you may want to ask your students to prepare for suctioning the mouth and then the nose. Notice that the head is starting to rotate over here slightly. And we can pause begin our suctioning procedure and continue the, shol the shoulders will begin to deliver and at this point we notice aha there's a complication where the cord has been wrapped around the head all these things are possible with Noel we can we can flip the cord over the head, or if the baby's heart rate is reasonable, we can continue the birthing process. And when the delivery is finally at the end, an optical counter in Noel says, you've done your job, and at this point, the baby is carefully removed from, the, from Noel. Now I I have flipped the cord over the head, the motor has stopped, the shoulders have presented, and I'm able to remove the child in the normal fashion. And at this point, naturally, the cord can be clamped and cut as appropriate. Another feature of Noel is the ability to perform Leopold maneuvers. In order to do that, first retract the birthing mechanism as I have here, and then remove the small adapter. Once that's accomplished, place the floor of the tummy into Noel as I've done here. When that's accomplished, the tummy, the floor of the tummy can be raised and lowered using air and that will bring the fetus higher or lower in the abdomen. Now I folded the articulating fetus up into a normal fetal position and notice that I can place the fetus head down, head up, transverse, any of these positions are possible. Let's choose a position something like this and place the tummy cover on and then snap down your snaps and you're ready to go. Now we've placed the fetus in Noel, placed the tummy cover on and we can elevate the fetus anteriorly using that air cushion that we installed. After 20 or 30 pumps, begin your Leopold maneuvers. Start by determining where is the head. Is the head down or is the head up? And continue to determine the lie and so on as you would when practicing Leopold maneuvers. Now that Noel has delivered, let's stabilize the neonate. I've selected 
a, an improvement rate of 5 seconds and a deterioration rate of 30 seconds. Now, the improvement rate of 5 seconds would mean the time it would take to go from one state to another. In this case, we start with central cyanosis. So it would be 5 seconds to go from central to peripheral, and then another 5 seconds to go from peripheral to healthy. Similarly, for deterioration, it'll take us 30 seconds to go from healthy to peripheral, peripheral to central. Now let's get started. Placing the, the BVM in the normal way, we'll begin. Notice that on the monitor, my efforts are being recorded in the green range, indicating that the ventilation is adequate. Notice that the central cyanosis is cleared up, and so has the peripheral cyanosis. If we stop now, in about 30 seconds, what will happen is that the peripheral cyanosis will return, followed by the central cyanosis. Again, the improvement rate and the deterioration rate are selectable, as well as the initial condition, either central, peripheral, or healthy. In addition, you can set a status of either coach or test, one or two rescuers. In the coaching mode, the student will be prompted. In the testing mode, there are no prompts. Notice that the peripheral cyanosis has returned and in a few more seconds, you'll be able to see the central cyanotic condition develop. If we wanted to restart the BVM procedure, at this point, we have central cyanosis. Placing the bag on again, starting again, the central cyanosis disappears in about five seconds and then the peripheral cyanosis begins fading and we have a healthy neonate once more. This test can be repeated as, as for as long as you like until you decide the student has been able to properly BVM the neonate. Now let's review the features of the Noel S550.100 full-size articulating mannequin with automatic delivery of the fetus from the ROA position, removable and dilating services, removable vulva inserts, the ability to be able to perform Leopold maneuvers, the ability to be able to intubate orally or nasally, start IV or do IM, and a neonate that can be intubated, CPR, UMBI, and has the unique ability to be able to change color with oxygenation so that you can differentiate between healthy, peripheral, and central cyanosis. This is the Noel S550.100. We hope you've enjoyed the show.